Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through a highlight and talking about IO Stream, specifically C out and Sin, and how to format IO Stream. Let's talk about IO Stream a little bit. So last time I mentioned that uh, you know we have this C out object where we can print uh, characters to the screen. So you know characters. And then we have this end line, which just pretties things up for us. And this now, this object here, allows us to go ahead and print things to the screen. Well, in the last video, I think we went ahead and learned how to take a couple values in from the user. So I got int value one, int value two. And with these values here, I mean, there, now we've declared a couple variables and we can change them however we want. One thing I do want to mention when we're defining uh, variables and uh, data types here, if you want to go ahead and include these on the same line, you can. That way you don't have to keep redefining it as an in integer. Anything in here will, can be defined as an integer together. And that's simply done by putting a colon here. So if I did value one and then value two, that's equivalent to doing int value one int value two. This is something I wanted to mention uh, because I'll probably be using it uh, later in the um, in the program. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two since we have them defined. We'll go ahead and save that and we're going to use our C out object to display these two values. And since we talked about uh, the various different kinds of operators that we had, so we have let's say the multiplication operator with this uh, asterisk here, taking value one, multiplying it by value two, and then all of that's going to be printed out using the cout object to the console. So what we would expect right now, well, is nothing because we haven't set value one or value two equal to anything. We could, however, go ahead and ask the user of the program what they want to go ahead and put into value one and into value two this way. So this sin object is another object out of the IO stream header, which is included in the standard library. And with the sin, we talked about how we can put user entered values into certain variables. So using this, let's just make sure one more thing. We'll see out and ask the user to put please put in two values just so it's apparent in our program here. And let's go ahead and do that. Before we compile, let me check out. And if you're new in stopping by, to keep up with the series and support the channel, please subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Also make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. It really does help me out, helps uh, introduce more people to the stream as well as the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and compile this real quick. So if you do control J, that'll actually bring up a terminal inside of uh, our favorite IDE here, Visual Studio Code. So now I'm asked, uh, asked to put in two values. I'm just gonna use four and eight. So eight times four is 32, awesome. We came out with the right value. We've checked ourselves, great. So we got a very simple program here that takes two values in. We ask the user, hey, please give us those values. We put those values from the console into first value one. After they hit the uh, carriage return or enter, then we ask them for a second value, value two. We had eight times four and we got 32 out of it. And that's what we spit out at the user using C out count. This is uh, known as character out, and this is known as character in, and it just reads and writes to the console. All right, so something that I'd like to mention about using the IO stream library is that there is a way to format the console. And in order to format it, we can actually set some flags based on how we wanna format things. So this is just something nice to know about. And the way we could do this is we can use the C out object and then we can actually call flags on it. 
So we have this uh, flags function here. And inside flags, let me try formatting it in a specific way. This is nice to know about because let's say you only wanted to deal with hexadecimals uh, or the hexadecimal representation of certain numbers. Well, instead of having to go through and use the uh, cout object and then converting every single value to hex, this is a nice way to go ahead and convert those values across the board for any council output. Um, hex is just one of the examples I'm going to show. Uh, there's a lot of different examples you, that can be used. And I'll show you some of the other flags that can be used here. So again, we have C out and this new function we're introducing flags. And in here we can introduce flags. The first one I want to introduce is if we do iOS colon colon and we do hex, that should convert our values to hex. So what the readout that I get now should be in a hexadecimal format. So let's see if uh, that does happen. Multiplication, I'll do an addition instead. And we're gonna see if we can get the hex value outputted to us. This is just something neat to know about. It's not really shown. So um, now that we have the flag set, let's go ahead and recompile our program and run it. This time I'm going to put in two values, eight and four, and now we see a C. So eight and four is 12, and uh, 12 in hexadecimal representation is C. Now you can see how easy it is to transform the various different representations of values using a council and uh, the council or the character out object. So there's very many flags available to us. And I'd like to uh, actually show you a couple of them if I can. Let me see if I can bring one up real quick. All right, hopefully we can see this all. But uh, here's where it calls for C++ IO flags and the various different flags available and what they mean. So we have uh, bool alpha, so that turns Boolean values in the IO stream using words like true or false. I really enjoy using this one personally because um, I don't necessarily like reading, whenever I'm using a bool, I like knowing that it's a true or false and that it is a, in fact a Boolean data type. Otherwise it gives you a zero or one and that's hard to distinguish between an integer and a Boolean. So this is something nice when you're testing bool alpha. I'll go ahead and actually try using that one here so we can check that out. And then you have, uh, well, decimal, fixed, hexadecimal, internal, left, right, octal, display, scientific, uh, different types of bases that you can show, and, uh, well, a few more. You even have uppercase if you wanted to get everything in uppercase. So this is, again, something nice to know about, uh, that the council output can be formatted with certain flags using the C out object. One more thing in here. So we had this, uh, we had the output formatted as a hexadecimal, but what if we went ahead and also threw on a base so we can really tell that it's a hexadecimal. So normally hexadecimal numbers are represented like this, O, X, and then some value. So maybe FF or AA or 00, zero. but they have this prefix right here, this zero X to clearly tell, hey, this is a hexadecimal formatted value or representation of a value. All right, so how do we do that? Well, there's something iOS here and it's called show base. So let's try this flag and see how that changes our value. We'll use the exact same numbers as before and let me rerun. So I'm gonna compile, do formatting, put my eight in, put my four in. And now I see O, X, C. All right, so that's just another neat little deal that we can use. Um, and there is two different functions here. There's a C out uh, set F, which means set flag. I don't like using this one. It's pretty much the same thing here, setting flags this way or setting flags this other way. I don't like doing this one because 
you're limited to setting two flags at a time here with set F. But with flags, you can put in as many as you want. So let's say I wanted to add a third flag, and that third flag was the iOS bool alpha. Spelled that wrong, alpha. Well, now I have uh, three different flags set. Whereas in here, I can only set the first two flags and then I'd have to recall this function, set F. So I don't like using this one, but be aware that it does exist. And I'm going to save this. And now I talked about bool alpha, alpha a moment ago. So how, do exa how exactly do we use this thing? So the first thing I need to do is actually define a bool value and I'm gonna call it result. And this time I'm going to say, we'll just put it at the end here. Uh, and then I'll set bool result equal to true. Let's see how our Boolean value changes when it gets displayed in the console versus how it works in the standard situation. So if I do C out and I type in my result, so spit out my variable result and I'll put an end line here. Let's go ahead and run this. Before we've seen that uh, a, once we print out a result that's a Boolean, uh, it usually comes back zero or one, but what's gonna happen this time? Let's check it out. Recompile, run, still have to put my values in. And this time it says true. This is very nice, at least in my opinion, because what if we didn't have this is bool alpha here. Just gotta put some numbers in. We can see since we have it hexadecimally formatted, it actually displays a one in hexadecimal. So, um, but normally it would show a zero or a one if I took out uh, some of these other flags. Let's just see what that would look like. I was actually expecting a zero or a one, but I forgot that I had it formatted. So here, one. But see, I can't tell the difference between my integers up here and this value one. Is this an integer? Is it a Boolean? Is it a, you know, what is it? Well, is out or um, what's that called? It's called, I think, bool alpha. Yes, bool alpha helps you distinguish all that. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.